Yes, sir. We are back on the main account. Let's open up this silver chest. Absolute garbage. And today we are going to be starting a brand new mini series. Probably only going to have five parts. If, well, I guess it could have a lot of parts, <laughs> but I have five decks to show you guys for 2v2. These will work for anybody really who's anywhere near my trophies. If you're anywhere near 3,000, 4,000, you probably have all of the cards. Um,. To be able to do these 3600 maybe you would need for one of the decks um so this is gonna apply to a lot of people and it's just some of the decks that i've found and that i've been using for a very long time i've been using this deck for probably a year a year and a half of 2v2s and they're just fun decks i'm so sick of playing ladder I hate the stress, I hate losing, I hate the card levels, I hate everything, it's terrible. So 2v2 is where it's at and that is what I play. We're going to try to keep it positive from here on out, but mixing up your 2v2 decks is a, 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 the best way to keep it fresh and to keep it fun and entertaining and you don't always win. So don't don't believe anybody who says there's a 100% win, win rate. I mean, it's 2v2, first of all, so there is no 100% win rate because you're always playing with someone different and people have different skill levels and that's fine. So, this is the deck that I've, it's my favorite. It's the one I always come back to. It's such a good deck. I'm going to briefly go over what each of the cards do, and we're going to test it out in a few live battles. So, the cannon card. This is your win condition. <laughs> Although it is seen as a huge defense, and it, it literally breaks down into a cannon, it is an offensive card in this deck. I very rarely, rarely use it on defense. It's mostly a mystery card that I save until you know, double elixir until I see an opportunity and then I just go all in with it. Baby Dragon, such a good splash range defensive card. It's it's my favorite card in the game. It was for a very long time. Along with Tornado, along with Ice Wizard, along with Cannon Cart, all of which were my number one favorite card in the game at some point. And they're all in this deck, it's amazing. Lumberjack, offensive card, but it has defensive qualities. The Rage spell is mostly used for offense when he drops it. Uh, Dark Prince, He's a really good transition. You use him on defense, counter push. Ice Wizard with the Tornado. Oh, it's dirty. It's dirty. If you can get the, the Baby Dragon, Ice Wizard, Tornado combo down, you stop almost anything. And that's that's really the idea. In 2v2, you want to be able to, to stop everything and then counter push. Um, also, the Ice Spirit and the Zap, uh, a lot of times they go hand in hand. And because if you can get the Ice Wizard to jump into something and then you can zap it as well, Minion Horde or something that's three elixir for five. Um, but yeah, we're going to test out this deck and we're going to show you how it works. Uh, I don't know what we are going to use. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how this works. And uh, new emote for ya boy. So he's going to baby drag on the right side. I'm going to wait for exactly that reason. I don't have the tornado yet, so we can't tornado him to the King Tower. Arrows are not going to kill that dude there, and he has a very strong push over there, so we are going to go opposite lane here. His cards are really high level, and we're going to be able to put some of that stress on the left-hand lane. The Spear Goblins here were going to die to my Ice Wizard, but I decided to murder their faces anyways, and Ice, uh, ice Spirit to just uh, soak up there. Now we're at a, an incredible advantage and I've barely done anything. My teammate is absolutely phenomenal in this match. So take the win or the loss as you will. <laughs> He's showing some frustration here. I'm just going to clap. It's a new emote for me. Uh, uh, also, this one's fairly new. I used some gems on that bad boy not too long ago. Also got a lightning chest. Looks like he did too. Nice. Alright, so we are leaking a little bit of elixir but that is okay we're gonna go in here and just try to bait out what they have and we successfully did that we're just gonna group everything together baby dragons are gonna be able to splash that down we're gonna be able to distract here the arrows do come down on top of the bats um, I don't think we got the freeze effect but that is absolutely okay we're able to defend and we're able to take out the remaining of that tower so, like I said, we're in, we're in double elixir. I haven't used the cannon cart yet. Um, it's not a card I use a lot on defense. It's usually a card I use for surprise. And usually it's when, after I've used the lumberjack, like right now, or for a surprise factor, um, after they have spent a lot of elixir, say, in the opposite lane. 
I like to surprise with the the cannon card because it is a it is a very underrated card. I think the last time I have reviewed this deck before, and the last time I did, I said it's like the most underrated card in the game, and that is so true. This kid had the same idea that I did, and that was to go all in on this right hand side. It is a hundred percent gonna pay off for us. We are gonna take out their three crown, and we are gonna give the hooray, and then the calamity collapse. That kid was really good. His cards were uh, were high level. Not necessarily that he was really good or that anybody's really good or bad. There's just card levels, you know, sometimes get in the way of everything, sort of. Sort of. And we're going to start up another one. Here we go. The jungle arena. Let us see what awaits. Playing against Night Warrior. Ice Spirit for this. He is also going to Valkyrie. I'm going to just, just support the Valkyrie um, with this baby dragon. Getting a little bit of lag. That's disgusting. <laughs> so this is what I love about having the tornado. He has a wizard down. So heck yeah, we're just going to groupity group group that all. And we're going to take some damage, but look how much we just defended. Oh, he's going to freeze. <laughs> the words in my mouth turned sour. Well played. Give it to him. <laughs> oh my gosh, what happened? What happened? My teammate is not happy at all. I wouldn't be either. Okay, so if they commit a lot... Okay, he's going to go that lane anyways. I'm going to say, if they commit a lot to that right-hand lane, we're going to go hard on this right-hand side. He zaps, I zap as well. Not the best use of zaps. <laughs> we're just... We're not as coordinated as we should be. I really thought that the uh, the wizard tornado combo was going to be able to kill things. Um, and it just wasn't able to finish them off in that last push. So we really have to play defensively. We have to play smart if we're going to come back from this. We're a whole tower down. And that's no bueno. The wizard is so strong. And with the ice wizard there to help slow things, it's awesome. Okay, that's a great mega knight for them. They also freeze, which is questionable. Um... So I'm going to distract. I don't know why he distracted with the Skeleton Army. Um, seeing as the Mega Knight does splash damage. Lumberjack on Lumberjack. Mega Minion got a ton of value there. The E-Wiz will hopefully die. We do have the uh, Rage spell there for us. This Hog Rider is going to make it to the tower. Going to have to pull him off of it. He's level 13. That's got to be another reason. To, uh, a lot of that stuff didn't die. Their card levels seem to be a lot higher than ours. Which is just the fact of life and another reason I choose not to play uh, play 1v1. Valkyrie is still alive. Archer is still alive. e is still alive. All of them still getting value. And... Wow. And they have the Royal Giant. Crazy. We could tornado that to the King Tower, but it's really not going to make a huge difference here. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to come back from this, but also, I'm not sure what my teammate was doing for some of these plays. They're questionable. Also, I had some misplays as well, so it is shared shared uh, regret, I guess. <laughs> uh, free spells are pretty tricky, and that's what they got us with on that first push. Usually, they only work once. As you saw from that, they didn't really get a ton of damage after that. It was kind of just that initial freeze which got us but i was choked up anyways so let's let's give this another go make out hill ew what a name <laughs> we're starting slow with a nice wizard in the back see what okay let's see what they do let's scream okay so we've got the valkyrie in front of us that's good if they do push okay one of these kids probably is using all spells um just based on the fact that They've used two fireballs and a snowball already. So we are gonna totally let that go. If you wanna fireball the tower and only hit the tower, that is A-OK -okay with me. So this is the, okay, and he's gonna lightning. So this is the exact time when, if they commit anything else to that right-hand side, they did commit a log. I'm just gonna go aggressive on this right-hand side. This is the push that I love doing. Also like to throw in a uh, an ice, uh, ice spirit as well as a zap to help clean off I if we're not in double elixir so I, sh I shouldn't have gone in with the uh, ice spirit as well we took a lot of damage on our tower 
and really wasn't able to uh, to clean it up on the right hand side, but now or on the left hand side. But we know that they do have the skeleton army. Saving up for that zap definitely would have been a lot more beneficial, and that tower most certainly would have gone down if uh, if we had had the zap up for that skeleton army. So hopefully my buddy here goes with the uh, giant in the back. Or the, the Valkyrie, I guess. <laughs> or the Tesla, I guess. Off center just a little bit. He is going to Valk this, which is a good play. They do have the Earthquake spell, so our tower is going to go down. Or our, uh, our building, rather. Dark Prince is going to get a charge onto the Dark Archer. And they do lightning that, which is really interesting. They do log for the Goblin Gang, which they are going to get the tower. And we don't have the zap in hand. They do still have the uh, the skeleton army, so we can't go in with that favored push that we usually do, or that I like to do. Um, we're just kind of feeding at the bridge right now, but now we have it. If we lose and the one guy has all spells, I'm going to be upset. So here we go. We do have the archer, uh, the magic archer there to help clean up the skeleton army, which they have not used. The earthquake spell does come down, but I think it come down, it came down too early. Um, and there it does come down again. That must have been the mirror from the kid who had all the spells. And look how much closer we are to taking out that tower. That tower is almost as good as dead. Uh, if only we had some sort of direct damage and or minor or something. Oh my goodness, and he arrowed the right hand side, taking out the skeleton army. I don't think we can cycle back to the spells that we need to. I spare it! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, this deck is so good, guys. Just look how much we're winning. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it can win, it can. I'm just sucky. <laughs> oh my goodness. But the, the, I mean, the main point of 2v2 anyways is to have fun. And this deck is a lot of fun, especially when you can get that push to work. When you do the, uh, the cannon card at the bridge and then the lumberjack uh, after him so he goes in front. It's a ton of fun. And I feel like we're going to be able to do it here because they are just throwing a ton of stuff at us. If that furnace goes down, we can definitely go opposite lane. Lumberjack is going to whammy. They're playing a lot of stuff over there. We do have the zap spell this time. And here we go at the bridge. Zap spell in one elixir. Do they have anything for it? We're going to eat those fire spirits as well as that bandit. Unless my partner plays his goblin gang. He totally left the game. Why would you leave? We took the tower. And then some. We're going to get some crazy damage. Okay, he came back. I'll give the well played to my teammate there because what were you doing, my dude? So they're low on elixir, but we did just feed a P.E.K.K.A. into um, three towers that were activated. Well, we did get a second tower from it, so I, I can't be too upset. That was a good play, and we're going to be able to scrape this up quite easily. If they play anything in the left lane, we go cannon cart in the right, and bam, bam, there we go. Good game. And so quickly, you, you either get them close loses or the very quick three crown no i'm not gonna make any promises like that you get what you get when you play and you you have partners and you have enemies and you have fun that's the idea <laughs> so here we go scream good luck musketeer please don't go in with your miner three to the lax my dude Okay, so Baby Dragon was definitely wrong lane, but hopefully we can uh, get some defense out of them by playing the Miner over there as well. Good job, my teammate. Fireball, unfortunately, thankfully, <laughs> I was saying unfortunately because I thought that would kill my uh, my dude there, but it did not. And the Inferno Tower is able to scrape up that Mega Knight, absolutely dead. And we took out more than half the tower on the left-hand side, which is looking awesome for us. Also, the Baby Dragon might die here as well. He's going to defend with the Rascals. I'm going to go in with a defensive Lumberjack. Um, and he's going to take out the Wizard there. The Witch is there as well. They're going to zap for some reason. I'm definitely okay with that. I'm going to tell my uh, my teammate that, hey, buddy, you should go right-hand side with that balloon and ice golem that you have there as well as your bats. But he's not going to. <laughs> he's just going to play defensively, which is fine. Uh, which is fine. Get it? Um, yeah. I mean, it would have been cool to play aggressive, but it is, uh, 
it's risky sometimes. I, I'm actually kind of curious to see if we could have. I think they were low on elixir there. Um, he's going to minor the tower, which is okay. And balloon into this, which again is okay. Looks like we're going to get the tower because the ice wizard's slowing the baby dragon. Yep. So we got the tower there, and I think they're low on elixir. So let's go for it. The famed push. If we're in double elixir, having the um, the ice spirit go as well as the zap in reserves is so good. Unfortunately, the tower is locked onto the cannon cart, not the miner, but it is all raged up and we're going to be able to take out that tower as well. And that is the power of the cannon cart. That is the power of this deck. Um, if you can get down in double elixir, if you can get down the... Uh, the cannon cart lumberjack and then the ice spirit and then save the zap for whatever they put down the ice spirit will help to take out anything like a valkyrie or anything it'll help freeze it and get the cannon cart time to lock onto the tower or the valkyrie get some pot shots in before anything bad happens to it and if it's a skeleton army or something the ice spirit will help clear out that stuff if it's an air unit it'll help clear out that stuff bats minions you can zap away the rest of the minions health and right now, I don't even know. I'm just kind of talking and just placing cards on defense. Um, we do have the Inferno Tower back in rotation, so um, even if there was still time here, we would just tornado these guys, and with the Baby Dragon Ice Wizard and the Inferno Tower, there's no way they were going to make it to our tower. Anyways, good game, well played, good luck, Dark Prince. So, if you enjoyed this video, if you um, try out this deck, please let me know how it works for you. Let me know if you like it. If you think I suck at this game, let me know in the comments below if there's anything I could have done better for this video. Let me know because I do plan on doing four more. I have four more 2v2 decks. All my decks right now are 2v2. Um, well, I guess one of them I've used in 1v1, but only one. So, if you want to see more of this mini-series, let me know. Um, and we can even continue it into the future if you guys want. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, God bless. Stay hydrated. We have 123 gems. That's cool.